Hey, what's going on? This is your boy Solo Mission, and we're talking about this can be summed up in me towel, if you will, but it's really just in a bachelor life, all right? And we, when we talk about the bachelor life and, and real bachelors out there, and it's, it's, it's different levels to this bachelor game because you got bachelors out there that's looking to get married one day, if you will, but then you have true bachelors like the self that knows marriage is not for me. All right. Uh, I have taken the red pill. I am definitely uh, teetering in this meat towel. All right. But I think when you're an alpha male bachelor, uh, you kind of been going your own way. But I, I, I do like this meat towel shit. Enough of that. Let's move forward. My videos are uncut, unbiased, unedited. The language in this video may hurt your eardrum. It's my opinion and it's uh, free speech. Now, I'm just talking about the bachelor life and the pros and cons. And let's talk about the pros, all right? Now, when you live in a true bachelor life and you're an alpha male uh, and you're meeting different women of all race, all nationalities, you got so many beautiful women to choose from and interact with that you have no time really to to spend analyzing one woman that uh didn't come over that particular night, she didn't want to have sex, or uh, maybe she got caught up, whatever the case may be, you, you don't have time to overanalyze that. Nor do you have time to um be angry and get upset at a woman for not doing what y'all previously talked about doing. You know, if a woman don't fall through, no problem. You know, we just make plans for another time and get off the phone. All right? Because I'm not going to spend time texting on the phone and talking about small talk situations. No, that's for a mangina. You know, a simp, a beta. To sit there, oh, you, oh, you had a rough day. Oh, okay, that's great. No, I'm, no I'm, we can have that small talk discussion face-to-face over some wine and some some nice music, if you will. You know, I set the mood. It's no problem. But when you when you are a bachelor and you really live in this bachelor lifestyle, as a man, you have your shit together. You know, you have the basics, and you have the basics protected. And let me explain that in this video here. What I mean by it is, you have your own place. You have your own car. And you are financially fit or stable as far as your career or your job that you're working at. You do have money in your bank account. You have great credits. You have money in your wallet. You have money coming in from your you know, your job or whatnot. So you, you're financially set. Your physical health, because you are smart to know that you should be keeping your physical in shape. You're not eating the junk food or genetically modified food that's out here in the world. You know what I'm saying? You dodge in the Illuminati pit traps and falls, if you will, along with thirst traps from women. So you're a grown ass man, all right? So once we got the grown man out of the way and you choose to live the lifestyle that you want to live, like I say, it's me and I here that may watch this video and want to start a family, want to find a woman. And I'm not knocking that because the idea, the idea now, the idea of having a beautiful woman like a Michelle Obama to a Barack Obama and kids, it's beautiful to see that it, it actually can work. You can actually meet a beautiful woman out here. Or Martha Luther King Jr., Coretta Scott King, if you will, or, or any couple from any race that you can think of. That's beautiful. So I'm not knocking that. But but for for true bachelors that know that lifestyle is not for them, then this is what I'm saying. So as a man, once you have your stuff together and you live in a bachelor lifestyle and you enjoy life, meeting beautiful women of all race, all nationalities, you would go out to have a you nice, know, nice cordial dinner or whatnot. My point is, when you start meeting women, you're going to realize that it gets no better than this. It becomes just effortless. Women... Once you meet them and, and, and you pass their shit test and you show them that you are a grown man, 
it's a beautiful thing to see the level that women go to to try to keep you satisfied and happy and, and they want to be in your aura, your presence. They don't want other women around you. That's the cons. <laughs> but the pros is the stress-free life that you live in. You don't have to worry about child support and alimony and, and arguing and police being called and, and going to jail. And all the stresses that come with a relationship. Is she cheating on me? Is she not? Are we going to argue today? You don't have to worry about that. Because as a grown man, you convey that with your lifestyle. A woman would, a woman respects a man that can demonstrate that he is an alpha male, that he is a grown man, that he is living the life that he's seeking out to live. He's living his purpose, his truth. They can't help but respect that, especially with the men that they know they're dealing with. So that's why a man, that's why a woman will hail a man high and respects him. Only when a woman loses respect from you is when she talk reckless. All right, when you lose your job, she start talking reckless. No respect for you. When you become a baby daddy to her, she starts talking reckless. In the midst of a divorce and everything hits the fan, that's when you get the reckless yada, yada, yada. But see, when you live in that alpha bachelor lifestyle, a woman respects your life and the way you live it. She can't fuck with it because she know that you got plenty of other women you can choose from to come over here and enjoy your living, if you will. She knows that. Every every woman that come over, even in your place, not my shit. Talk about, let's talk about your shit. When a woman come over your place and looks around, she's looking around, she's admiring what you have, she's admiring your car, how you present yourself. She know that it's other women out there that are going to come over here and do the same thing she's doing. So she's going to respect that. She has no choice to. And you're not going to get the constant shit test or rejection. She's going to come over there and, and offer to do shit for you. Do you want to bring some food? How about I bring some drinks next time I come over? The next time I come over, we're going to do this and this and this. I want to do this. She's going to tell you about all the other guys that's calling her phone, but she's going to tell you she would rather spend time with you because she know what you have to offer. These dudes could actually be offering to pay her money, her light bill, phone bill, get her nails, hair, toes, take her to Victoria's Secrets for some new panties. <laughs> you know, the simp shit. And she would turn that down to come spend with because she respects you more because you don't have to do all that. That's why she respects you. See, they buying her attention. A woman don't respect that. See, here's the secret. Now I'm giving the secrets. They go to chess shit. A woman, to a certain extent, want to be played a little bit. Ding, ding. Just a little bit. Because, see... If you buy her, she can't respect that because now you gave her the option to see do she want to be sold to you, if you will, if you're fucking with my logic here. But if she don't want to take your money, because see, now she feel used by you. Oh, you just want to buy me? You just want to buy my pussy? I don't even want to fuck you. I don't want your money. So she's going to go with the guy that she respects because he don't have to give her no money. Because she wants to be in his aura because he's showing that I'm a grown ass man. I got my shit together. I ain't got to spend no money on you. We can come over here and sit right here and I ain't got to buy shit. But I'm going to show you a good time. I'm going to treat you like a, like a grown lady and with respect. I mean, I could take you out and, and splurge on you. Sure, I sure can. Because my shit together. But I'm not doing it to get you in the bedroom. And see, that difference is what women respect. Because they deep down, they don't want to feel like a hoe or a slut or easy. You feel me? But when you start dealing with the cons of the bachelor life, <laughs> God damn. When women start getting attached to you, 
and you start having sex with a woman, time check real quick. You start having sex. The sex is good because as a man, you're supposed to put it on that ass. All right. I mean, don't talk shit on the phone to her and get her all riled up and then on to come on now. Make sure you put it on these women. All right. You put the sex on her. She knows you're a grown ass man because you got your shit together uh, compared to the other guys because she damn sure comparing and contrasting. Not only your bedroom performance, but how you living. Or oh, women love to compare and contrast. That's what they talk to their homegirls about. So she's comparing and contrasting all the fuck dudes that's calling her phone to you. And when you show up like a man and, and, and you take her in the bedroom and you beat it up like a man. And you treating her with respect and you're not degrading her. No matter what her living is, she can be a hood rat, whatever. You don't treat her like such. Because women sometimes don't view themselves as such. So, roll with me, shall we? No matter what quality of woman that you feel you're dealing with, treat her with respect. And make it happen. Because you are the leader. So, lead the interaction to where you want to go. But when you do that, you get the cons. Right, She's going to fall in love with you. Even though y'all came and said that we are friends, it's just fun, we hanging out. You know, I'm not looking for nothing serious. She's going to fall in love with you because she's getting addicted to something that she never thought she could find. She's going to start getting close, emo 